Today we're going to be going over my snowplow setup, so stick around, it's going to be fun. My boy Anthony is over here, he's going to run my snow route, and we're going to do this video today, so let's go. What's going on? Welcome to the game. Cornell here, Mac Landscaping and Lawn Care. Today we're going to go over my 2024 snowplow setup. Look at the truck right here. You see it. Whoo, yeah. Look over here. We got my boy Anthony with Excalibur Landscaping. I'm about to go on vacation and he's going to take care of my snow route while I'm away. And here he is right here. What's going on, Anthony? Going on, man? How are you? Good. How are hey, you? I don't know why, but I mess up the handshakes with everyone. But this is my boy Anthony from Excalibur Landscaping. What's going on, homie? Nothing much, man. Yeah, Not much. it's nice out here. Look at this. He got the turbo diesel Cummings. Yeah, 2500. He's a Ram guy like me. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So real quick, if you look, here's the truck. We'll go around, give you a quick pan around. I left it on so we could see all of the cool lights it has. So let's get up here. We'll start with the plow real quick. Uh, Anthony has worked my snow plow out for me uh, before. So while I go on vacation, he's the guy I trust. This is my guy, another young guy. How old are you? 23, I just turned 23. 23 years old. How long have you been in business? Three years. Three years. Yeah. What's some advice you would give to someone who just starting out their business? Find one thing you're good at and stick with it. I like them. Man, a few words. Listen, we got the Boss DXT 9.2 stainless. The reason I got this was obviously it's a V plow. We can go, I do a lot of driveways and we can just part this thing like the Red Sea, drive straight up the driveway one way, uh, push the snow off to either side, and then whatever side has the most, we just V plow it. Well, no, <laughs> we turn it one way or the other. What? What am I trying to say here? Wind row, there we go. We wind row the other side and uh, just push the rest of the snow off. It's easy. This thing can go um, like a V. It can go like you can wind row left or wind row right, or you can push and you can also scoop. So it's super versatile. It also has the dual trip. So this down here, if you hit a manhole cover or something, it'll flow, it'll flip backwards. And then if you hit something big, the whole plow will shift forward so it really saves you from destroying stuff because i didn't know anything about snow plowing this was my first ever plow this is how i started i figured let me get something that's going to be super durable so i don't break things so that's why i went with this i got it from wine guards up in michigan because no one down here had the one i wanted at the time let's look at the salter real quick i'm doing this quick because we're running out of daylight i don't know how even how this looks on camera but I got to show Anthony where we even get the salt and everything for the salter. This is the Boss VBX 8000 um, salt spreader. I love this thing. It's super easy. Um, real quick, I like the spreader. It has 10 different settings. I also have the pencil chain. Hold this for a second, Anthony. Watch this athleticism I got to do real quick uh, to get up here. There's some salt in here, man. It's a nice spreader. Yeah, so there's still some salt in here. We just had a storm yesterday, so we just used it, and I thought I was going to have to go out today, but we got the pencil chain down here. Um, I like that instead of the auger. I talked to this guy, Mike Bedell, up in Michigan, and he told me that the pencil chain's more efficient, um, but it, it was a little more expensive, but I like it. It makes everything super easy. Yep, come on up here. Let's see what Anthony got. Don't fall, boy. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this thing is nice. So yeah, this holds two tons. I'll show you real quick what it looks like when they load it up. The tons, they're up here. Take a look at that real quick. But yeah, we uh, you just fill it up. Everything feeds down in when you turn the spreader on. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Oh. Woo. Well, you've seen his athleticism. You ain't get to see mine. We were athletes. Hold this for a second, Anthony. Yep. Over here, check this out. So this is simple. You just pull this pin, pull that pin out, and then you can open this up. Now, 
down here, there's a button over here. Okay. You press this button. I have a bucket in the back, a Lowe's bucket. I'll show you that in a second. But you just turn this on and it turns the chain on and you can fill buckets up. Oh. Right from the back. So it, elim it eliminated the need for me to have uh, bags sold anymore. It's so efficient. Yeah. And then all you got to do, it's so super easy, man. Boss made everything super easy. You just line, like line that back up, take the pin. Drop him in. Pop that back on. And you are Gucci. Yeah, so the Boss VBX over here is the uh, electrical stuff. You won't need to mess okay. with this because we're going to leave it all, all right. attached to everything. But the electrical stuff over here, there's also a light, but the thing has to be on, on the inside. Let me show you this. Now... The Boss VBX is operated by this slit controller right here. Um, so I'm going to do it on this side. Yeah. So right here, this is the feeder setting. And then this is the spinner setting. You have your start and your stop. And then whatever mode you want to have it on. Um, it says we have the pencil chain right here. Now, I don't have a vibrator, so that don't even need to be pressed. I don't have a vibrator, but if people have a vibrator, this is the button to operate that. If anything gets stuck in, uh, like, you know, sometimes salt gets stuck, you can hit it with a blast, and that'll turn everything to 10 real fast and make the salt spread out real, okay. real crazy. Right. And then over here is that light I was telling you about in the okay. back. This wasn't turned that. on, and that's why gotcha. the light wouldn't turn on in the back. So right now it's turned on. I'll leave it on, and then we'll go in the back, check it out. So it really brightens everything up back here a lot. And I still have two, uh, two floods back here. But over here is where you can operate the light. Okay. Do you drive with these on? Or uh, just no, you, no, only when I'm in the lot. Okay. So we turn everything on so it's, everything's nice and bright. But everything is super simple, bro. Boss made everything so user-friendly. It's yeah. like now I don't even really have to get out of the truck except for a couple places I have to do a couple little sidewalks. I didn't before, now I do. But I'll show you what we'll use for that. Oh, let me go over the plow controller. So the plow controller is simple. Anthony already knows this, yeah. but if you double tap it, that puts it in float mode so that you can go over anything and just keep going. And then you can go to the V if you push it to the scoop. Okay. If you push here, uh, wind row right, wind row left and then this is the v position so gotcha. everything's super easy, easy super yeah. simple and then the on off okay is up here easy yeah simple easy peasy lemon squeezy now for the couple sidewalks that i have to do we have this boss push shovel this thing is slick um little boss push shovel it's 28 inches wide super simple just <laughs> literally one hand is what i do when i back it up move over a little bit push it again there's like three driveways that i gotta do um where i have something else for if there's a lot of snow but this right here so fast like i said one hand you just push back up push back up super easy and then again we got the uh five gallon Lowe's bucket that if we need to go out and throw salt because sometimes some of these drive like two of these driveways it's just easier just to grab the salt and throw it in throw, just throw it down hand hand throw one bucket full but that's that man um the truck is a ram 3500 dump truck with the aluminum dump you guys have seen my truck before it's the dually i guess all dump trucks are probably dualies right but yeah that's the that's what we got here and then i'll take you inside real quick and show you like if we ever had a snowstorm that was too much for us to push shovel like that then i have this if there's ever a snowstorm that's more than three inches because that's that push shovel, like two inch snow, nothing, bro. So easy. If there's anything more than that, I don't have any need to have anything bigger. We have this single stage Toro snowblower. I'm not even, the power clean, 
You see this thing's dusty. We haven't even used it yet. But I bought it last year. It's super simple to use. Easy, it's light. It's 50, I think it's like 55 pounds. Sounds about right. Yeah, a little 55 pounder. You see how easy I can just move this thing around with one hand and then the little gas can we keep for that if we ever need it. But we haven't needed it. It really, it doesn't even snow last no, year, right? No, we, once maybe. Yeah, one time, but yeah, that's that, man. We, um, that's my snow setup. I, it, there ain't many bells and whistles to it. Three thing, the Boss DXT plow. We got the VBX 8000, the Boss push shovel, a Lowe's bucket, and that little snow blower if we ever need anything. And also I was thinking, uh, shout out to Grass Girl Lawn Care on Instagram. She's been showing uh, the steel version of the the paddle thing. It's like, a, I have one of those though. She has the steel version of that thing right there. <laughs> Sheesh. Golly. This paddle thing right here. I'm thinking about taking that with me because then we could just keep everything inside the truck. We wouldn't have to pick anything up. I don't know. But that's my 2024 snow setup. Me and my boy Anthony, we love you. We appreciate you. We wish you nothing but success. And we out. Peace.